let's look at what needs to be done to facilitate economic transformation in Uganda. Yeah, what needs to be done in order for us to achieve economic transformation fully in what? In Uganda. The first thing that is supposed to be done is investment in industry. A number of researchers have argued that manufacturing would provide numerous low-skill jobs for Uganda's population, so it would reduce on the unemployment in Uganda, and there will be increase in productivity in the country, which will lead to economic transformation. Then another thing is economic regulation, liberalization, liberalization of the economy. There is need to regulate the activities in liberal economy to ensure that the economic agents play by the rules of the game. The state in Uganda needs to play its role to the referee. So economic re regulation, they have to regulate the economy. Though the, the economy is liberalized, anyone can trade, anyone can enter and leave. Yeah, there is need to, re to, to re regulate the economy to see that people are complying with the required standards, people are paying taxes, things like that. So it will lead to economic transformation. Yeah, then another thing that can be done is set up of investment in agriculture. Uganda needs to facilitate the completion of agricultural revolution through a more focused strategy based on value addition, like we, so, so that we can be able to, to change agriculture completely from subsistence to commercialized agriculture, which will lead to economic transformation. Another one is active policy on population control. Uganda's population growth rate has been rapid. As a result, GDP growth per capita has been lower than GDP growth. For Uganda to realize a population dividend, the population growth should be reduced and total employment increased. Yes, so they, they should control the population by encouraging family planning and other things that can reduce on the population, which in turn will increase on the GDP of the country. Then another reason, another thing that can be done is investment in women education and income generation. When you educate a woman, you're educating a nation. And since it's women that give birth, educated women always take long to give birth. Yeah, so they, when, when, when they take long to give birth, it will help to reduce on the population in the country it will help reduce on the population in the country which which in turn will, will lead to economic transformation yeah then another one is uh, restructure the state politics and economic system government needs to carry out an urgent reform in civil service and politics yeah so so, so that we can stop having chaos if they are organized in the civil service and the politics and there is no corruption, in turn will lead to economic transformation of the country. Yeah, another thing that can be done is uh, building capacity of private sector. There is need to op operationalize the local current policy and the Buy Uganda Build Uganda strategy. This is what countries such as USA, Britain, China, India, Singapore, South Africa, and South Korea did to devolve. Yeah, so there is need to look at procurement positively as a social and economic tool. So if we build the capacity of the private sector by us buying our local products and promoting our local products, it will lead to economic transformation of the country. Another thing that can be done is address the rising inequality, the inequality between the rich and the poor. There is need for, job, for good jobs for young people, a strong emphasis on quality education, and then health care, and then giving assistance to the poor in order to reduce the rising income inequality. Because the poor do not sleep because they are hungry, and the rich do not sleep because the poor are awake because the poor can steal them anytime. Yeah, so if they address the rising inequality in income, it will lead to economic transformation. And lastly, is the need for accurate, reliable, and timely data. 
poor accurate or complete absence of data is seriously hurting Uganda's ability to make good policy decisions. Economic decision making is inseparable from statistics. So there is need for accurate, reliable and timely data in order for economic transformation to take place. Development programs entail measurable results and evidence-based, yet data on basic development indicators in Uganda is not available. The little available is not accessible and it is unreliable. But the Uganda Bureau of Statistics is trying. It has improved